as I was saying, let me say this to you young people um, who already know, some of you already know, but you don't know what I know if you haven't reached my age yet. So I'm, it bears to say again, even though you've heard your mother and father say it, even if you've heard um, several YouTubers say it um, that are of my age and older, um, we hear this, I've heard this stuff too, and we kind of push it off sometimes, or we, we get it, but we don't get it because it hasn't happened to us yet type of thing. Um, last year, I was able to walk 12 miles straight. I keep telling y'all that, right? I can't do that right now if I wanted to, and I really want to. It like really hurts that I cannot do that. And I keep thinking my knee's gonna get better. It, for three weeks, I was limping while at work. And then I was finally able to walk. Remember, I did the Trinity, and I was doing my step at home. And I did the hiking with James, and then went back the next day with DJ. Mm -hmm. This is all after I twisted my knee at the hospital when I went to go see my last grandson, and it hurt really bad. I didn't go to the hospital, I didn't go to the doctor, and maybe I should have. Lesson number one. Second thing, I don't know if I started exercising too soon on it. I am extremely overweight. I told you guys that. If you don't know, I weigh 338 pounds. Then I lost two pounds, so I'm at 336. Remember, I lost a pound, now I've lost another. So it's coming off slowly because I'm working it slowly. Um, yesterday, here in Austin at the Texas Book Festival, I walked, and I didn't realize how much of that's why I'm hurting. You get here, and any festival, anything that you have to walk around and enjoy, you don't realize how much you're doing it, and I don't really give a thought to it because I don't care because I'm, so, I'm, I'm a walker. That's what I do, right? I can walk 12 miles straight. It's in my head, it's in my psyche. A lot of times when you're exercising, it's all mental. Because your body is just, even though it's tired, you'll get that second win. I love getting second, third, fourth, fifth wins. And it just keeps me going. So, I say all that to say, when I got here, I went, I parked, walked around, and was filming the parade first. And I'm thinking, I didn't even see the parade last year. And um, I'll put the name of the parade because one of my friends that I used to work with, Alex, he was in Dallas at the same type of celebration. And I believe it's Day of the Dead. Don't quote me. I'll put it below because I'm going to get it. Ah, my knee hurt. I just got like a spasm and pain. And all I did was move my toe. Mm -hmm. So anyway, young people, just last year, I thought this year I would be able to, you know, get back to my 12 miles and do 26.2 which is <laughs> a marathon which i really want to do bad um why do i want to do it because i there's an athlete inside of me <laughs> that wants to do it and i just have long endurance something happens when i'm out there walking 10 and 12 miles this peace, this calm, and I get to sightsee. Like, I don't get to sightsee in a freaking car. You know, you miss things. You you find wonderful things when you're walking. You see your city and other cities in a different light when you're walking. So yesterday, as I'm walking all around, um, and I'm going up and down following the parade, and then I am go back, and then I sat down and had a margarita, and then I got back up and did some more walking and more walking and more walking. Then I went to my car, get over there to the book festival park, walk through the book festival walking far i'm like oh my car is way over here <laughs> so walking back and then taking a trip through and going on the um the capitol grounds and filming the african-american museum um not museum african-american uh, the texas african-american monument and although I've seen it before, filmed it before, shared it on here before, and on Instagram before, before I deleted my account with thousands of subscribers, only had, not thousands, I th the highest I ever got on Instagram was 1,080, almost like Twitter, which was like 1,040, and it never got it over that. And then to the 1,400 that keeps teetering between 1,300 and 1,400 here on the YouTube channel. So I learned my lesson. If I want to reach more people, I need to stop deactivating things. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> anyway, young people, I did all that walking yesterday, and now I'm paying for it. And 
I can't do the things I want to do today. And either I know with age, you heal longer. It takes longer to heal. Um, being that I didn't go, and I go to my doctor all the time, but for my blood pressure and just recently for this congestion he's been watching in my chest. So, and being on antibox, antibiotics, which I can't take all because I'm allergic to certain antibiotics. Mm -hmm. Tear you up, child. Anyway, say all that to say is if you want to do something with your physical body and your brain right now when it's in its young, youthful, most energetic prime of its life, do it so that you can reminisce when you're older like moi and go, I did that. I enjoyed that. I got the pictures, the experience, the film, the video. I shared it with me and my grandkids or my my kids, my friends, my coworkers. We went out and we walked or we jogged or we swam or we did this and we did that and we roller coaster ride. We traveled the world. We did all this. And you, the first thing you're not thinking is because I got the energy to do it. No, the first thing is you're thinking is just to do it. Now, at my age, I'm thinking, do I have the physical capabilities to actually do my bow nail this morning? No, I don't. My knee's hurting. It still has not healed. The next time I go to the doctor for my blood pressure check, I'm going to have him schedule an x-ray for my knee. I have to take care of myself. I want to walk a marathon. This cannot be the end of my walking. It just cannot. It It just cannot. I walked through that festival, through that parade yesterday, and today I'm supposed to stay tonight because I had a booking at the other hotel for two nights. I'm only booking this hotel for one night because I'm going home tonight, which I will be getting rest in this, you know, in Austin and going straight to work because it's two and a half hours away. I was just going to get up at four o'clock in the morning, get ready, leave at five, be at work at eight. Okay, and I uh, give myself that extra time or leave before, you know, I just wanted to be able to get back in the room tonight about eight o'clock and go to sleep and get some rest before I go to work. And I can't do those things. I don't even know if I'm going to make it to the library today. So I just might go to Lady Bird Lake, get a parking spot and sit outside. And I wish there was some electricity out there that I could, um, load up the laptop because I like anyway just anyway so a lesson for my young 30 behind year old children and my 25 year old which DJ works out he goes to the gym every single day sometimes twice a day and you know his body is 25 okay it's young <sighs> my son William and he him and his ex did a 5k run before even though he's 30 something whatever i'm gonna tell him if you want to do that again baby please do it if you just want to just do it because you're not going to be able to you know you never know there are some young people right now athletes with worse injuries to their knees than mine so it's not just about getting older you never know what's going to happen to your body tomorrow later today even okay so be mindful of that be grateful that for the fact I, I do I praise my feet I thank God for my feet every day I thank myself for my feet like that I put them through all of this walking and just I need to relax them I'm older and that thought being on my mind all the time something I just didn't think of. Even when I was 40, I didn't think of that, you know? But it makes me have those re regretful moments. Like, if I was 25, why didn't I... I always knew I could walk for really long distances. Why didn't I run a, a, run a marathon at 25? Run at 35, 40? I want to walk a marathon. So I've got until go to the doctor I'm going to go November because that's my next checkup 
early November, get the x-ray on my knee in November, try to figure out some healing time and what best physical therapy I can do to get this knee back to the best of its ability, lose some weight, get the weight off the knee because I know that's a contributing factor. I know that it is a contributing factor that I'm fat and I'm putting all this unnecessary weight on these knees. Left knee's fine. This injury knee, no. You can't be 130 pounds overweight, Denise, and expect this to heal properly, okay? So I need to get that under control. That's why I didn't want to have that pecan pie. So there are small things I need to do. Stay on the vegan diet through. Like, we did that for a whole week, which me and DJ, we do it a lot. We can go without meat a lot. He eats a lot of chicken and vegetables. He'll do that every day, kind of like his dad did when he was working out and getting a cut body and getting into competition, you know, the weightlifting competitions and stuff. Okay. So for myself, <laughs> I need to stop with the sweets completely because just not eating meat is not going to fix anything with my weight. I need to work out regularly, regularly. And if I can't do it on my knees, I need to do my arm weights to keep yeah, I don't even want to show that. You saw it. You saw that fat under my arm. So anyway, I'm going to end this video. I just kind of wanted to speak to my young people, my babies. Hi, mommies, babies. And any young people that have joined this channel, subscribe and um, actually take the time to watch it. I appreciate you. I really do. I'm going to shut up. But I want you to know that from an older lady and all the old advice, older advice that you've received from other people, young or old, it is the truth. In your youth, take advantage of the beauty of being physically, mentally, and spiritually strong enough to do things because things start to wane and you have to start making yourself do it more and more and more. Like it's a fight to do it. And if it's not a fight to do it, good. But when you, as you get older, for some of us, when you get injured, it is a battle coming back. More so of a battle when you were younger. Okay, that's all I want to say. And I'm going to hush. Because you can hear the traffic. Somebody getting stopped. I just pray somebody getting stopped, not somebody that's hurt. God bless you guys. Thanks for being here. Bye, Tasha.